All right, so use title is done, and now we're gonna work with use click. Use click is a very simple hook, but it allows me to explain to you what references are. So in this case, I'm gonna make a reference here. You will see very quickly, I'm gonna say use ref. So what is a reference? A reference is basically the way that we can select uh, any part of our component using something the equivalent of component, um, no, document.getElementById for example. So let's say that I want to do, I have an input here, right? Here, and let's say that I want to focus it. This means do this, like focus it, make it active after five seconds. So what I do is that I create a reference at the top and then I tell the input, this could be potato, doesn't matter, right? I tell the input that his reference is potato all the components everything in react has a that ref reference element all right reference prop so now we're all good there and now these are together so input reference potato is const potato now if i console log if i set a timeout and after maybe five seconds i console log potato let's see what happens five seconds current there is an object and there is one um, thing inside of it called current current is the placeholder as you can see la la so I, I just have to do this I guess current and it's the same thing all right now when the input is selected I can do whatever I want with it so for example instead of doing potato that uh, current console log I can do potato current that focus because now I just have access to the HTML of the this element I have access to the input only so as you can see in five seconds look at that boom it becomes blue all right so that's the equivalent like I said of doing get element by ID all right cool so now that you understand references let's look at the next one and the next one will be click right and use click will be very very simple all i'm gonna do will be use click and what i want to do is um that i want to execute a function when the somebody clicks the element that the people tell me so in this case it will be click no on click function all right and what i'm gonna do here is do const element equals use ref all right and i'm going to return that element i'm just creating a reference but instead of doing it on app i do it in use click all right so in this case let's do title reference it doesn't matter let's do h1 h1 input doesn't matter all right and here i will do use click and by default let's do nothing on the on click all right and let's do the reference title nope sorry reference title so nothing out of the ordinary very very simple except that now we have access to the title so we can do whatever we want with it in that case what i want to do is do use effect right and here i am going to make a function right and this function is going to say, let's do, for example, element. First, let's check that exists. So let's do if element dot current. We're going to do element dot current at event event listener. And let's do click. Okay. And here we're going to call a function on click. Super simple, no? Let's, uh, this is gonna be an error because I think on click doesn't exist. So let's see how it goes. So let's do a recap before we continue. Click is wrong, click is this. We use click and use click creates a reference, all right? And we are and returns the same reference. And we're giving that reference to the title H1, all right? So now we can interact with it. What we're doing here is that we're checking 
that there is an element, a current element inside of the reference, and we are adding an event listener click. All right, and now time for the truth. I'm gonna click here and nothing happened. I think the reason why nothing happened is because on click doesn't exist, if I'm correct. So let's create on click here. Let's do const on click. Better yet, say hello as always. Say hello. Say hello. All right. And now if we click, as you can see, I'm clicking and it's saying say hello. Awesome. All right. Now, I need to remember, it's very important. All, all this all works because of the reference. All right. So remember that we return the reference and we put the reference here. But now here we are adding an event listener. All right. And that's how easy it is. That's on click for you. But what we should do in theory is that we should clean up after ourselves. This means we should remove this event listener when the component will unmount. All right. And this is the second part of use effect that I didn't tell you. Use effect works as component did mount, as you know. So here in this, this case, when the component mounts, it adds an event. When the component on mount, we need to clean up after the event. So what I'm going to do is return a function. Okay, here, I'm not returning any function. This is not returning any function whatsoever, I need to actually return a function. All right. Now the function that I return will be called by this component when the com the component will unmount. All right. So what I'm doing here is basically cleaning up after myself listener. Okay. One second. Let's do if element current. Right. So as you can see, it became very, it became a little bit confusing, but what I'm doing is basically this when the use effect mounts is going to call this also when it updates. So let's just stop that here. Done. Okay. No dependencies. That means that when the user, when the use click mounts, when the say hello, when the use click mounts, yep. I'm going to add an event listener to click. Now we don't care about if something updates because as you can see here, there is no dependencies. And today, just now, right now, we are using the new feature that we didn't know before about use effect, which is what's going to happen when the component will unmount. And this is what will happen. So in use effect, if you put a function, that function will be called in component did mount, component did update, as long as there is no dependencies here. If there is dependencies, then this function right here is going to be called only when component did mount. But what about component will unmount? That's when you return. If you return a function, that function that you returned from use effect will be called in component will unmount. Let's do it again. If you return a function, that function will be called in component will unmount. So that's exactly what we're doing here. When the component mounts, we add an event listener. It's going to be forever like this because there are no dependencies. If I didn't put these three here, I will add the event listener with every update and that's not what I want at all. So we're going to put this thing here. So now that means that this will only happen once and component did mount. And then we are returning a function. This is a function right here. We're returning this. And this is the function that will be called in component will unmount. It's very important we do this because we don't want to have event listeners laying around of unmounted components. All right. I hope you got it. We're going to practice this concept a lot. So don't worry about it. And but I think we're done. That's it with use click. Um, I think we can do a real a quick, quick check if uh, the type of of on click is not equals 
to a function, then we're just gonna return and nothing will happen. The function, the function will be empty. All right? Done. Thank you for watching. I hope you're liking this. And that's it. I will see you in the next one. And now we have a use click. Bye bye.